<laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Adam Ratliff with Adam So Fun. I am in a beautiful, where am I? Mountain Home, Arkansas. And I haven't had internet, so I'm gonna try to get this video done edited and uploaded tonight because internet was just back on when I got back to my hotel today. So I've been here for a few days. I drove in on Tuesday, but I think it, today's Thursday night. Um, oh my gosh, it's a beautiful area. They have some of the best Thai food I've ever had. I'm so full. I feel like my shirt doesn't fit anymore, but it was delicious dinner. So tomorrow I'm going to eat light. I'm not. I love food, whatever. But today's video, um, we are going to look at downloading a design, putting it on a thumb drive. And it's going to go that far because I don't have a machine to go record putting the thumb drive into your machine. But um, before we get into the video, remember, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you're notified when new videos drop. And don't forget to follow me on social media, Adam So Fun with an S-E-W on Facebook and Instagram, where you see more stuff that doesn't actually hit the YouTube channel because I just don't have time to make all the videos. Um, I am on the road for the next few weeks, so uh, I will be making videos. A lot of them will look like this. I will be in a hotel room because I have to get them done um, while I'm on the road. I'm home like one day next week and then one day in the next month. It's like I'm gone for 10 days, I go home for a night and then gone for 10 days. And then it's just, it's crazy. I'm just not even home. But um, let's get into the video. I am recording this very weird because I am going to be recording my computer screen with with my iPhone. So I hope everything works because I can't record my computer screen the way that I thought I could. So I'm going to make this work. I hope the video looks okay. If not, you know what? You'll still be able to understand if it doesn't look right. You're still seeing what I'm doing. So uh, I'm going to switch the phone around. We'll see you right back. Okay, so... <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so rigged up. All right, so we are back. Here is my computer screen. Um, so I've just bought a design and I want to download it, bring it onto my computer, and then put that, comp that design on my thumb drive I have here and then put that in my computer. Remember, if you have a Pro Stitcher Lite, your USB is going into the second USB port on your tablet. If you have an Amara, a Forte, or a 16 with Pro Stitcher Premium, your USB is going into the black box behind your tablet. Those USBs in the black box are your Pro Stitcher USBs. That's where you need to put the USB if you want to update. That's where you need to put the USB if you want to um, open your designs. If you have an Infinity, they go into one of the USB ports under your power button in the front. Very important, those are your Pro Stitcher USBs. So my first step is to go to where I can download. So here's my email. This is my design and I'm going to click my design. It's gonna show me, these are some, uh, uh, some 12 by 12 fills from Quiltable. It shows me everything. Um, sometimes it shows you this, sometimes it doesn't. But over here we have our little download icon. I'm gonna click that. Now it's going to download those files. Sometimes it shows you a pop-up, sometimes it doesn't. And now my files are downloaded and it says open file. So um, a few things, you can see that this little file here has a zipper that and it's dot zip. That means this file is a zipped file and that means that it's compressed. So um, it's a way to share, not share files, but it's a way to um, upload and download files where the file type isn't quite as big. They compress it. They, I don't know, they squish it. They stick it in a compactor and they squish it to make it smaller. So I'm going to hit open file. And here's my file that I've just downloaded. Um, let me click off of all this. And so here's my file I just downloaded. It says extract up here. If you don't have the option to open that file, you can still get to it. Most computers download files into their download folder. So I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna hover over here to my file explorer. This is the file that I've opened. I'm gonna ignore that. I'm gonna pretend that's not there. Uh-oh. I'm gonna right click on this and I'm gonna click file explorer. 
this opens a new version of it. Yours would actually, let's just do this so, to make, to, so we don't get confused. Close that. <clears throat> so I don't have any files open. I wanna open File Explorer. I'm going to click my File Explorer. Here we are. So this is your file explorer. This is where you can see all the files that live on your computer. And in this case, I just downloaded this file. I know I just downloaded it. And most files will download into your download file. So over here, I have this PC. I have three objects, desktop, and et cetera. Here are my downloads. I'm gonna click on downloads. And this right here says today you downloaded DS00005CZ04 with the parentheses of one. I've already downloaded this file before, so that's why I have a one next to it because this is the first copy of it. If I double click that, it'll open it. And again, it says extract. Now you want to take these, these um, files out and you want to put them somewhere where you know where you can find them. What's this? I open that one. So these are gonna be all your photos. Let me go to view, extra large image. I should be able to see these because they're JPEGs. Maybe you have to extract them first. So let's go back. All right, so here we do, we have all of our files. We have another file of compressed JPEGs, which are uh, photo um, files. They are compressed, so we'll have to decompress those. So what I want, usually when I um, am moving things, I only want the HQV format. I can only use one, so why not take the one you're gonna use? So if I click on type, did you see how I clicked it? and half of these are HQF, the bottom half are HQV. So I wanna know where I put these. That's an important step. So I'm gonna come down here to my File Explorer, or actually I think I can go to File, can I? Okay, so I'm gonna go to File. At the top, I'm gonna say Open New Window. Now I have two of these File Explorer windows open. One of them is where I'm gonna put things, and one of them where is, I, where is going to be where I'm taking them from. So I'm not gonna to touch the back window yet. Um, I want these to go into my quiltable file on my uh, C drive. So I'm gonna click on this PC. On my side, I'm gonna scroll down to where I have my C drive. And then I have my design file. This is the proprietary file that uh, ProStitcher created for us. So this is the one that ProStitcher owns. So I'm gonna double click on designs. And this is where you would have all of your designs and so forth. Um, I have an everything quiltable file and I have a quiltable file and I have class files and taco files and I save a ton of stuff, all different places. So let's, what's in this new folder? Oh, I did a class. Um, we're just gonna, let's, I'm just gonna create a new folder. We're gonna do a quiltable one file, just so you can see how to do this. So I would make a new file. So I clicked new folder up here, and then it came up, and now I'm gonna type quiltable, quiltable, and I'm just gonna name it quiltable underscore one. So here's my quiltable file. Double click it, and it's empty. I just created it. There shouldn't be anything in there. I'm gonna move these screens around a little bit. So now I have my quiltable file on the right, this here it is, it's empty. Over on the left, I have all my files. I only want the HQV files. So I'm gonna click over on this window. I will click my files that I want. So there's the chevron. I scrolled down with the wheel on my mouse. You can also hit the arrows. I want these files. So I'm gonna hold down shift and select. And now all of those files are selected and I know they're selected because they've turned blue. I can right click and hit copy. Um, I could also click, left click and drag them. I can do a lot of stuff. If I left click and drag them, I'm taking them from one place and putting them in the other. They're not in two places, probably the smarter thing, but in this case, we're just gonna copy and paste. So right click, copy, you can also hit Control C, whichever way, you, there's just a copy thing. Now I'm gonna come back over here on this side. I am going to left click in my empty folder, you can't tell that it did anything other than these are not blue anymore, they're gray because I'm in a different file. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna hit paste. 
And now I've pasted all of those designs from the download file to a file somewhere on my computer where I know they are. This will be easier for me when I search them when I'm using a Pro Stitcher Designer. All right, so now I have all the files over here. I'm going to close the other one. Here's my quiltable file. Now I need to get these files from here onto a USB drive. So I have my USB drive. I'm going to stick it into my USB port. In my case, I have an external port that I have to use. I hear a little ding da da ding, and now a new, a new window popped up automatically because that's my settings, and it says USB drive E. If yours didn't do this, I'm going to close this. If that didn't happen, we can come or we can go up to our file tab, click, open new window. Here's our new window. It's a copy of what was happening over here. We're going to use the one on the left as my new window. On the left side, on our scroll bar, you can scroll up and down. You, I'm going to click the arrow so you can see what I'm doing. And we put in an external drive. The taco drive is an external drive. Lots of videos there, or lots of designs there. So E down here is my um, USB drive that I just plugged in. I can click on it and it says this drive or this folder is empty. There's nothing on this folder. So I'm going to new folder. I'm going to click new folder and this one's going to be called quiltable. And then I can just click anywhere it comes off. I will double click to open it. And these are um, 12 inch fills. Oops, let's go back down here. So now here's my E drive. I have a quiltable file in there. I'm gonna open the quiltable file. Nothing's there. I'm gonna hit new folder. And this one's gonna be um, 12 inch block fills because that's what these designs are. Now I can click anywhere, it deselects it. I'm gonna double click my block fills. Now I'll click back over to my other window where all of my fills lay. Select the top one or hold shift and select the bottom one. So that's one way you can select everything. You can also hit this box right here. It will select everything in that file. When we have them all selected, right click, copy. I'm gonna click on my other window. Here's my empty folder, right click, paste. There we have it. All my designs are now on my USB drive. I could take them into Pro Stitcher and use them in Pro Stitcher. So um, I do have Pro Stitcher Simulator on here, so let's pretend. So I'm gonna close these out. Um, when you, just so you know, when you are taking your, um, your drive out, oh, I changed the name to Video Drive. Um, we are going to, if you want to rename this, right click it, come down and hit rename, and you can rename that drive. Um, so maybe you use different USBs for different things. That's a way you could do it. Um, when you want to stop using this, you're going to right click on the name, and we want to hit eject. You'll get this, save to remove the hardware. That's when you can pull your USB out. You want to wait until you do that. So now let's go to Pro Stitcher. Pro Stitcher Premium. Do you want this? Yes, we do. That's what it will say if you want to open Pro Stitcher Premium. So here's our Pro Stitcher. Let's just hit this. So here's our Pro Stitcher like we are on our machine, but we're not really. If I go File Design Open, I have my D drive, which is my taco drive. I have my C drive, which is the computer drive, but I don't have an E drive. I need that E drive because that's where I have my USB. My USB is not plugged in, so there's no E drive there. So I'm gonna hit cancel. Here's my USB and I'm plugging it into my USB drive. It'll make the sound. We're just gonna X out of this. If this pops up on your tablet when you do it, just hit the X, that's fine, we don't need that. Now, if I go File, Design, Open, I have my C drive. I'm gonna hit this little carrot right here to pop the D1 up, and now I have an E drive. If I click on E drive, I get the quiltable file. If I click on quiltable, I get my 12 inch block fills, and if I click my block fills, I get the 12 blocks. Is that 12, two, four, six, eight? The 10 blocks that are in this file. What's this one? 
This is, oh my gosh, gorgeous. And they're tw it's 12 by 12. What a, what a, just think about that. What is my one-to-one? -one? Look how small those are. I'm gonna simulate this. How big are these? Uh, measure. These are one and a quarter inch squares. Think about that on a quilt. Doing a background fill. I'm doing something with these. I forgot I had these. Um, bottom house refresh. Ugh. What other ones are in here? Chevron, furrows runs, scales. Oh, I, I use the scales and I use this, um, the swirls and stripes for, um, some samples. I love this maze feel though. Look at this. I mean, just think about that. Like in a hexagon, if you cropped it out and then close the edges and then stitch the area, that would just look really cool. Uh, all the things we can do with Pro Stitcher, it's kind of amazing. So um, so that is it. That is how you download a design, stick it to a USB, also putting it into a file where you're going to easily find it and then bringing it to your computer. One of the things about putting that, um, doing that extra step and sticking it into your file, if I go file design open and I go to my C drive, I'll go to my designs because that's where all my designs live. Remember, we created that Pro Stitcher. Um, we created that Pro Stitcher file, or that not. We created that quiltable file, quiltable underscore one. And because we took the time to put it here, there's all my fields here too. So um, if I were using Pro Stitcher um, simulator or I was using Pro Stitcher designer and I didn't want to move that USB back and forth. I have the designs here, but I also have them on the USB that I can take to my machine. So that's why we do that extra step and we do that extra step so we know where they are saved. That's a very important part. So um, there you are. We're going to be right back. I'll see you in a second. All right, everyone. So that was how to download a design put it onto USB, put the USB into your machine and open it and use those designs. It's really not that hard. I know a lot of you have been asking, like, can we just get a really to the point video on how to do this? Um, it's one of those things that when you do it once or twice, you're like, oh my gosh, I was nervous about it, nothing. So um, just get yourself a good USB. I like went to Costco and bought a three pack and probably gonna last the rest of my life. Well, at least for design stuff. Um, I usually write on them and t like this is tacos like the long arm has an LA or it says taco one of the two I have one this is Bernina for my embroidery designs for my machine so it just depends on what you're doing and um, where you want to save things I like all my designs to be on one so if you have any questions you know how to get a hold of me thanks for watching please like subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell so you're notified when new videos drop uh, make sure you follow me on social media adam so fun with an sew on facebook and instagram uh, where you see a lot of stuff that doesn't go here if you're in some classes in the next few weeks i'm very excited to see you i'm looking forward to it. i have a very busy end of the year and i think uh one two three four five six like the next eight or nine weeks i'm not home I'm just off somewhere. I do have a vacation week in the middle of that, but it's still not at home, so whatever. Um, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great day, and at the end of the day, it's just quilting. We want to have a good time, baby. See you all soon. Bye.